This is a coding tutorial for how to code the claw robot from the book. So to get started, we're going to head down here to projects. You're going to scroll down past the robot builds down to other, and you're just going to click create new project. It's going to give you two options. We're going to choose word blocks. So we're going to go ahead and create this now. And we've got our blank canvas here. And so I'm going to organize this a little bit. I'm going to move this when program starts to the upper left hand, and you'll see why here in just a minute. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to write some code that's just going to calibrate the motors, make sure they're not too fast, and get our robot kind of calibrated to begin any interaction. So anytime we start the code, it's going to get the claw where we need it to be. So to do that, we're going to start over here with these motor blocks. And we're going to use this motor block to set the speed. And we're going to use two of these. We're going to use A, or I'm sorry, we're going to switch A to C. And this one is going to be D. And we're just going to keep it real slow at 5%. Once we have those two, then we want to use this, go to the shortest path possible. And we're going to bring two of these over here as well. So we want to make sure the, the motors are nice and slow. And you can adjust that speed to your liking. I just like it slow so it's smoother. And we're going to use position zero. So it's going to keep it starting at the same point every time when we go to boot up. It's just kind of some calibration there. The next thing we need to do is we need to program for our remote control to be able to control this on the remote control app. And so we're going to go down here to this darker green almost like a teal where it says remote control and you can see here um, that we don't have currently any options there so what we got to do is we got to click over here on this remote control icon over on the right hand side to get those blocks and what we do here is we'll use this little pencil to edit this and we got to create a remote control so there are all these widgets that we're going to be able to use for this and so you can see down here in the bottom right we've got widgets a plus and a check we want to add some widgets we're going to add two for this demo we're going to add the directional pad and you can move this to the, your liking and then we're going to add a slider a horizontal slider and i'm going to add that right down here as well so this is what our remote control is going to look like we're going to hit this check to make sure that that's okay once we do that, we can see our remote control right here. And now if we go back to our remote control blocks, we can see that we've now got some coding blocks based on the widgets that we added to our remote control. So the first thing I want to do is write the code for the slider. And I'm just going to move this up here out of the way for now. And so I'm going to bring out two of these. And we're going to program this so when it's high and low, meaning to the right, and left here and we're going to go high and we're going to go low okay and when it's low what we want to do is first we need to make sure the motor is slow and smooth so we're going to set a motor speed here for low this is going to be motor D we want to make sure that that's still at 5% and we're going to start to move the motor counterclockwise so motor D will be going counterclockwise in this case to the left so as we slide that slider to the left the motor is going to go that way the claw the arm and then we're just going to do basically the complete opposite of what we see here so I can just right click on this first motor block and hit duplicate I get the same set of blocks right here I still want five percent better safe than sorry i know we probably don't need it but it's good to have for my own peace of mind and we're just going to switch this now to clockwise so as we slide this to the right and it's going high it's going to move the robot claw to the right so we got right and left using the slider all right i'm then going to drag this down just so it's out of the way here for the the time being and what i want to do now is i'm actually going to expand this out a little bit so you can see this a little bit easier there we go. And what I want to do now is write the code 
for the directional pad, the up, down, right, left, and when nothing's pressed. So what I like to do with these codes is I like to always kind of organize them in a way that represents the actual widget or the directional pad. So if we wanted to go back here, I would select this here, just like so. So this is to the left, this is to the right, just like that. We're gonna do the same thing for the directional pad. And what we're actually going to do is we're gonna start right in the middle of our code. When the directional pad D1, and we're gonna change this from up to no, when no button is pressed, we want everything just to kind of chill, and kind of freeze. So we're gonna go here to motor and we are going to stop motor. In this case, we're gonna stop motor C because that's the motor we're gonna be controlling here. And we're then going to set the movement motor. So we're gonna go here to these pink blocks And we're gonna make these motors B and F. And we wanna stop them as well. And we're just gonna program them to stop moving. So this is kind of hold your robot when we're not touching anything on the remote control, it's gonna sit tight, which is what we want. We don't want it to keep moving when we're not interacting with it. We're then gonna go back, we're gonna add now another one of these. And I'm going to put it up top. So when we press up, when the directional pad up button is pressed, all right, we want to go to movement now. And I might just duplicate these. We're going to set those moving. I'm going to delete this stop moving because we actually want it to start moving here. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a start moving straight block. Now you can see the one I want also lets us control the speed and I don't see it here in this movement block. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to this extension to the bottom left and we're going to, we can just add more motors and more movement. And now we're going to have another set of movement blocks down here, more movements. And the block that I like that is found in here is to start moving straight at a speed. So we're gonna drag this over. So we're gonna start moving straight, but we want this at negative 5%. And that'll make sense here to our motors. So we want the, the claw to go up, but the way our motors are positioned, all right, we need a negative speed. What we need to do here then is we're just gonna right click and we're gonna duplicate this because this is the same structure that we need when we press the down button. So I'm gonna change this to down. The motors are still the same. And then you can adjust your speed here at what percent. I have found three to be nice. You can make it five. It's up to you. You can tinker around with this as you want. So that's going to get that working that way. We're gonna bounce back over here to our remote control blocks and we're gonna drag now one over for the left button. So we're gonna change this up to left. And we gotta pick our motors. Again, we're going to set our movement speed. And I know we already have this at 5% several times, but it, we're going to go ahead and change that to motor C, and we're going to have that at 5%. And then we're going to start the motor just like so. So this is going to start to move this motor in a clockwise direction. As soon as we let go, so we can be sensitive to using the controller, once we let go, then it cuts over here when no button's pressed and it will stop it. So you can kind of just slowly nudge it with the code that we're gonna do. And we're just going to duplicate this. And we're gonna move this over here to the right. And we're gonna call this right when the right button's pressed. And we're gonna change this one to counterclockwise. And that is the code for the claw controller. You can play around with it, but you can see now I've kind of got my directional pad, my D-pad laid out in my code, so it's easy for me to make adjustments and keep track of what's what. I've got the slider to the left and right and my starting code. So feel free to go check out the demo. Obviously, you can demo it yourself now that you've completed the robot, and I can't wait to see what you do, how you use it, um, and all that good stuff. So good luck, and thank you for being awesome. We'll see you in the next video. 
here is the claw robot. Uh, you can see here, we'll do some screenshots in the program, in the book, and online. The, the basic control on the phone, just to up, down, right, left, this controls the angle of the claw, up and down of the claw, and this slider is what's going to allow the claw to open and close. So pretty simple little program. And so you can see here, if I go to the left, the robot should go to the left. I'm gonna push the button to the right side, it'll pivot. Now you can adjust the speed and the cadence for your own accuracy here. But this allows me to kind of go back and forth this way. So what I want to do here is try to get this ball here. I'm going to try to get over just a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and head down. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and slide this claw closed here. And hopefully I can get it. There we go. Go ahead and lift this up. And then I can bring that forward. And you can see we put these extra little pieces here, these Technic pieces to kind of hold it so it wouldn't drop underneath on you. And then we've got these rubber pieces here to kind of hold some traction. So then I could go ahead and say I wanted to deliver this over here, just like a machine. I could bring that down. There we go. And then you can see I can drop that down right here. Go ahead and release it. And there you have it.